Hi guys, this is Slashing Dragon here, and today we are resuming work in Open Arturian X6 after one week of uh, being working on my entry for the 7 days roguelike challenge. It's time to continue doing this. So, today we are going to uh, do something uh, a bit uh, fun, I guess. Uh, we are going to be integrating the uh, well, this, this is the first thing that we are planning to do today, integrating these files that uh, we got from the Bidjode. Uh, these are scales for the musical instruments. So, this is for the uh, lute and the harpsichord. The idea is to replace what we currently have, which is like uh, some kind of piano, with these two. So that will include adding a harpsichord to the game. So today is going to be a bit of fun, I guess. Uh, not a lot of progress in the goals of the milestone, but let's go ahead and do that. So I have already downloaded and copied the files for this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead into the project and just uh, replace the asset that we're loading for the piano, which is this one. And I'm going to load uh, first just one. I will call this uh, notes for the loot. It's going to be loot dot web. And uh, then wherever we were using this, we're going to use depending on the instrument. It's going to have a different uh, uh, asset related. So let's say instrument that uh, audio asset and then uh, let's go to the definition of that instrument which is here we have the lute and let's uh, include inside this effect maybe well there was something already like that and I don't think it's being used uh, let's rename that to audio asset key or audio yeah asset key and it's going to be named uh, notes loot and uh, in here we're going to use the instrument dot effect dot audio asset key and then we're going to need to um, make some changes on the timing because the way that we had it and it should be something here we had uh, the asset that we had had like 88 uh, nodes each one spaced by 1.5 seconds I guess uh, in the files that I got from David I'm not sure about the timing that's something that we will have to find out um, so let's go ahead and do that Oh well, these are moved already. Let's open them here. Uh, let me mute this. Um, that didn't work. Uh, okay. Um, open this. And I guess we're we're going to try to figure out. The entire sequence is 24 seconds long, but there's like a space at the end, so it's not 3 seconds. Oh well, okay. I think we can, the best thing that we can do here is use uh, Audacity check. Let's do that. Let's open that file. For the loot. So I don't know how to handle this. Where can I see the current? It's like a, 
a bit over two seconds now. The thing is that it has to be pretty precise. Okay, here's some. So it's around two to three. If that's the case, then the next one will be four to six. And the next one would be 6.9 It starts getting a bit off huh? So this is where it starts 2.4 Then the other one is 4.8 Not entirely sure. Then the next one would be six dot four, six dot two, or sixty two. What? Not seven, seven dot two. Yeah, that looks like it. So it's like twenty four hundred or yeah milliseconds. So instead of having this be this, uh, we can also put that here. Um, inside the definition of the instrument. Let's see how that works. So for this we need to rebuild and uh, then we can check again in the game and see how that loop sounds. There's something in the background. Sorry about that. Hopefully it did not disturb a lot of the recording. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it out. Where's the loot? I forgot. Okay. Instrument definition effect. Okay, so let's fix that. In here, let's put it this way uh, instrument effect is instrument definition effect and then we can put this here and here also uh, well this is no longer uh, we gotta move some more stuff <laughs> yeah because we had like 88 keys and we had markers for each one of these we're going to need to define uh, keys so this one only has 8 and uh, yeah that will be it so instrument effect dot keys oh we also need some kind of offset, offset. Um, here so we need to save the instrument well we can al al always get it like this uh, and uh, what is this so this was like a fixed uh, offset we can probably keep that piano too so this is 38 I believe yeah uh, offset
So this one will not have an offset, but the other one had this. The other one had 88 and 1.5. I'm going to save this value so I can replicate that when we add the piano back. And uh, here we are just doing some validations. We can always check versus um, the number of keys here. And we can play the note. Okay, let's check again. It didn't work. Oh. Uh. Okay. kind of works but the problem is that it's waiting for one note to finish before playing the other one it seems that's not oh no that's not the problem it's just that some notes are a bit delayed Yeah, we got the value wrong, definitively. Um, yeah, that timing is not correct. That timing is not the one. Uh, so, for example, for this note, I, I, I wonder if they have like a fixed timing. I hope they do. Um, but this is the seventh note, seventh, eighth note. So in theory, it's eight times this, 1912. What? Okay, seven times because it's zero based. 16. Yeah, this is not right. There's a huge delay here. Um, so I'm not sure if we should like uh, try to experiment and see. Uh, I mean, there's a delay. Oh well. Oh, maybe there's an offset, like an initial offset here too that we should account for uh, maybe that's the issue or is there any delay? no, not really alrighty so let's get as close as we can what did I do? did I select something? <laughs> So it's really tiny. I don't want to have to manually map each node. That doesn't look. Or maybe I will have to now that I remember. Uh, I was discussing this with David that uh, maybe because of some string instruments have like longer uh, echo time for each node. I'm not sure. Sixteen eight six three. No, that doesn't work. Sixteen eight 
yeah I think I will have to manually map uh, <laughs> each one let's go ahead and do that uh, not only because of the uh, format of this file but also because of that that I just mentioned that maybe some uh, some to go ahead and create another instrument here for the piano so this one will have a um, how to call this like a fixed timing with a fragment length keys and then offset key offset and uh, but that for that for the piano and for the one that we have we will define the notes manually so we will have these um, fragments so the first one starts as zero it seems, then we have one, here, next one set. That's it, and um, maybe we also need to cut this short, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's pretend there's like another one here, and that's actually the, we will determine the length of the last note. Then we won't, will not need this or this, and that offset we maybe still need it yeah but it will be zero now and um, then we are going to check what's the time and tie for the instrument and then well that's in here we are going to check uh, based on the instrument effect if the timing type is uh, fixed, then we do this. Else, we are going to do something similar, but we are going to use the different uh, fragments. And for each fragment, what we're going to do is add a node. We are going also going to keep a number here, uh, and it's going to increase every time. And the seconds are going to be actually the fragment. Well, these are, these are seconds, so we have to divide this by 1000 because, yeah, I think 
that's how it works and the duration this is tricky so it's it has to be like the next so yeah we're going to do something here so duration is um, if I if we're in the last fragment If we are in the last fragment, then I'll know. If we are okay, so yeah. So the duration is actually if we are in the last fragment, we are not going to add um marker because that's like the fake fragment thing. So we just return here. Uh else the duration is actually the next fragment, so it's like fragment on the next position minus this uh, I think probably <laughs> um, is that correct? I believe it is correct okay if it's not we will soon find out this duration is also in seconds, so we also gotta divide this by 1000 and that should be it, I believe let's see how that doesn't work Fragment, okay. These are always easier to fix than just things not working. If it's syntax, it's easy. Of course, we could prevent having those errors if we, if we were using a more strict language. See, nothing's playing. Nothing's playing. Okay. <laughs> so these are the kind of um, hmm. errors that I mentioned that are not that easy to. Uh, figure out let's see what's going on here um, I can just break here so what markers are being added so marker 0 ok so there's first off I believe there's we need to add one to this then fragment is zero and actually I believe it does not work that way or we could check phasers documentation so add marker name start duration volume and loop name well we are off by one starting at zero that makes sense duration what's going on with this that's that's good that's okay uh, but the marker was uh, number here in here it was a number two so no problem with that so let's see the next one next one starts at 2.4 and this is the start point of this marker given in seconds so that's fine this is also in seconds um,
and this is almost the same so <laughs> maybe I messed up some calculation but it seems like for the most part 2400 is like the fixed uh, yeah it's like the fixed land here well this one is two seconds maybe that's that's where differences start or is that the last one or no, that's the last one okay so there's something wrong there um, because it should have worked with a fixed uh, 2.4 seconds sequence uh, or uh, fragment length but it's not working interesting so first off let's fix that uh, thing so this is one i plus one and what else we are adding the marker this is okay so it's like they have a fixed uh, length here one second per node in that case uh, yeah this is actually they should also use the duration here Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why it's not working so let's try with this fix but I don't believe I mean if that was an issue then we will just have to move one um, one note So let's see what's happening when we are play, playing the notes. So note is two. We're getting the instrument effect. The offset is two. Oh no, it's just moving the note, okay. And then it's not playing because note Why is it not playing? Oh my. Okay. Um all right. So this depends. This validation depends on whether we are like marking manually or uh, using the so let's I don't know what to do I think for simplicity let's go ahead and do this I mean I know what to do but I don't want to make this more complex than it has to be uh, and go back to the idea of having the 2400 um, thing So how many keys we have? We have eight key offset. Well, this one has eighty-eight. Key offset is zero. Eight keys. Fragment length is two dot four. Notes fixed. Fixed. And uh, let's try again. Oh, well, oh, I know what happened. Okay. Yeah, we need a combination of both things. Uh, so it needs to be like this, and then fragment is gotta be in this case, it's i times d duration. And the duration is still on uh, milliseconds. And then the duration here because it's fixed instead of the sex or seconds 
this no longer we no longer need that let's see that should make it work there's a problem here uh, items 202 key offset um, Let's see. All with the same note. Yeah, that's not desired. Uh, why is it not like advancing? Uh, doesn't seem to be advancing, which is weird because I mean the first parameter is the start, the second one is the um, oh, but it starts at one. So the start is I minus one, but yeah, that should not affect a lot of things here. Uh, flood duration, times duration. Oh, and then this one is we also need to divide. Because duration is this. Did we change the name? Yeah, we changed the name. It's fragment length here. All the asset timing doesn't exist. Um, all the asset key does exist. Fragment length. Okay. Let's retry. Well, note one doesn't play for some reason. Neither does any note. <laughs> okay. So duration is the fragment length. Oh, it's already in seconds. <laughs> I need to, uh, yeah, there's like a, <laughs> I think it makes more sense to keep it in milliseconds. Yeah. Milliseconds is more precise. Even if we are dividing here. Uh, then if it's in milliseconds, we need to do this division. Yeah. Sounds good, but I still want to keep the support uh, for the other kind of timing and it should also work. So let's try that out and see. Uh, I'm going to move around stuff. So this is fixed here. These are the kind of uh, alternatives, manual or uh, key offset are we using that we are not using key offset key offset will be used here and what is offset then oh key offset where's key offset have no idea maybe it was to be used here um, yeah, I think that's where it should be used. Um, yeah. 
yeah, that's in the case of the piano, for example, where you, we have a key offset of uh, 88, well, no, something like around that. Okay. But in here we don't have a key offset, but we gotta keep it here. This offset, I forgot what it was. Offset. No, well, this is actually the same thing. We are loading all of them here. Ah, so never mind. Uh, it's gotta be this way, and then we only need one. The offset is zero. This one uh, has eight keys. This one has the fragment, define the keys, fragment length, time type. Let's see how that works. It should be pretty similar, but yeah, let's first make sure that this is good. So fragment, if it's the last one, we don't do anything. If it's not, then we add the marker, I plus one, fragment is in uh, milliseconds and we need seconds and this is also milliseconds and we need seconds here and it didn't work <laughs> for some reason and maybe it's a question of a scale too but I cannot find it. Uh, fragments I plus one, I plus two. Oh, this is always going to be zero. And then, uh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Hmm, why is it not working? Note 2, we get the instrument effect with this manual fragment. We add the offset, so we are still on note 2. Uh, all right, okay, this is the same thing that I just was just seeing. So let's save this here, total keys, and then total keys is going to be uh, instrument effect dot keys, or maybe it's going to be the length of these fragments. And actually, this is like the, well, notes are like one thing above, so this should be fine. And then we check versus that, okay. And we need to check back and see that the fixed option is back working well. It doesn't seem to be validating correctly here. Total keys is nine, note is nine. Uh, but, uh, all right, well, it should be minus one. And then the zero one, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, the only problem is with the nine. Yeah, I think uh, we should reduce one here because of the, the, that last fragment that is not really a fragment that defines the length of the last part. Okay, and then uh, let's try again with this other timing type
both should work. And they work. So that's good. Um, we're going to leave it uh, with the manual thing. Uh, let's compare this and make sure that the piano is going to be yeah I think we can have the harp chord with the uh, fixed timing type so this one has type or the other say timing type key offset no don't use that use offset instead uh, timing type fragment land and keys okay that's good uh, and then let's also include the harpsichord so since the lute is like the string instrument I'm going to leave the uh, the manual definition there and then the harpsichord so let's load it too I hope I spelled it right harpsichord Let's add that harpsichord. For now, let's use the same appearance. But it's going to use the harpsichord notes. And I wonder if it has the same timing. Let's see. So let's open the harpsichord. And it seems to be the same. I will take a shot at it being the same so let's leave it like this delete this and uh, delete this and we're going to leave a note here this could be fixed with uh, 2400 uh, segment length but leaving like this to test manual support and uh, let's add this uh, thing so we're going to have to open the map and uh, open the I heard this we're going to open put that harpsichord here so we just can do like let's use this icon it doesn't really matter uh, we're going to put a new item here let's put it here and it's a harp seed cord it's an item and the item ID is harp seed cord we are going to save the map um, we are going to build again and then we're going to have a harpsichord that looks like a loot hopefully there it is if we look at it it's a harpsichord and this is a loot and let's use it and it didn't work let's use the loot the loot works the harpsichord doesn't work audio marker one doesn't exist etc so fixed oh okay what no what happened here notes harpsichord why didn't it load uh, so timing type is fixed hmm was there an error load in the asset file maybe I don't see any errors here for some reason it seems like it didn't properly initialize which is weird because I don't see why it would happen so it's a different audio asset key oh well maybe this was the reason I had not saved there let's see
All right, it works. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I don't think uh, on the items we have <clears throat> we have something that looks like a harpsichord. Um, so maybe that's something to be done in the new pixel art that we want to make. Um, let's see in the terrain. Do we have something like a box? I don't know. Um, hmm. These are like multi tile things. I don't know. Maybe let's let's use this as a harpsichord. <laughs> it's like a stone slab. And let's put it here just for fun. So I'm going to move that harpsichord. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Uh, I just forgot how. Okay, so I select it. Oh. Can I move it around? Yeah, with this icon. Oh, I moved the entire layer. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to move the harpsichord. What is this? Select objects. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. And I want to place the harpsichord here, maybe, or here. Yeah, here. But let's change how it looks. And I don't know if I can do that. Type item. ID. Well, the ID cannot be changed. The ID is actually the... Um, yeah, so we are going to have to add a new one. Uh, no problem with that. Delete this harpsichord. Add this new harpsichord. Where is it? Uh, here, we're going to put it here. Oh, it doesn't look very good. No, we need something smaller like this, maybe? Yeah, that looks like a harpsichord to me. Um, or maybe this one? No, that one. No. We need a thinner one, like this one. Mm. That will do for now. We need someone to draw that. Uh, anyways, let's put that thing here. And uh, it's a harpsichord. Harpsichord. It's an item. Harpsichord. And we are going to need the ID for that. Uh, so it's something that we need to manually find. Count. Because it doesn't give us that. Um, or does it? Shark grid? No, it doesn't. I always have to find it manually. Uh, so I don't want to count. <laughs> this is terrains. Terrain. So these are 16 by 16, I believe. Yeah. And that thing is here. Was that it? I don't know. Which one did I use? Yeah, it's under the big stone thing. Oh, here's the other one. So, 217. That's 13. 13, 13? Okay, so we're going to add a new appearance. So we have this harpsichord. It's no longer going to look like a loot because we're going to add a new appearance here. And the, the index, well, the tile set is going to be the terrain tile set. And we are going to add here the harpsichord, harpsistone harpsichord and the index is going to be 13 plus something mass 13 and that something is 33 that's like an odd number 
but it seems to be the case. Anyways, okay. And yeah, that should suffice. Let's see if there's a harpsichord inside. Well, oh, I didn't move it. Okay, I think I did not save the map. I did not save the map. So I'm going to do that and load again. Let's check. It should be moved inside. So let's check inside the house. So here it is. And let's try using it. It works great. So I think, uh, yeah, that that should be it. Um, just something small, a small thing that we needed to do because I got these assets from David some time ago and I had not managed to integrate them. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with the main development of the milestone of the containers and all that stuff. So I need to check where we were at with that. But for today, this is it. So this is Slashing Dragon and I will see you tomorrow.